Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jujitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. In this video today, we're going to look at a lithium iron phosphate battery offering from Go Kilowatt Hour. This is a 100 amp capacity battery and I'm very excited to show you what this battery is. So on the packaging there's nothing really special, just some shipping labels. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside the package. Now the very first thing that you see here are the M8 bolts. So we have two of those. Those are stainless steel bolts. Those go to the terminals on the battery. So we'll set those aside and then looking down in here you can see that the battery is packaged very well with nice thick foam so this is not only to insulate the battery but to make it nice for shipping so this is a little difficult to pull the battery out so I'm gonna pause for a second and we'll be back when the battery is out of this package and so there is a look at the battery the packaging was absolutely fantastic it did come in this little bag here so I cannot say enough good things about how well they package this battery for shipment from the factory. Some batteries you get them and they are just in a cardboard box but not the case here with this battery here. So we do have a little sticker here and there are some QR codes on this sticker. Gives you first step right there, second step right there, so I'm going to go ahead and take these little M8 bolts out and put them on the terminals. And while I'm doing this, I'll talk a little bit about the battery. You can see that they're labeled very well with this epoxy. You have black for negative and red for positive. This battery also has smart Bluetooth technology. And this battery advertises 4,000 all the way up to 15 thousand cycles depending on the depth of discharge so four thousand cycles if you do the math that's 10.95 years that is just wonderful as you can see it's a lithium iron phosphate chemistry uh, go kilowatt hour is the company there is a QR code right there and then lots of things on here to talk about. Now right here on the top of the battery we're looking at something that is not commonly found on lithium iron phosphate batteries. That is the LCD screen with the power button. When you push this power button you will see this screen turn on and as you saw it refreshed all the data so this battery displays information in real time. The first thing on the left here is the voltage of the battery, 13.2 volts. Now below that, current, so if you have a load connected to the battery, it'll tell you in amperage what your current draw is. And then below that you have 20.1 degrees centigrade, that's the temperature of the battery itself. Push the power button, it'll, it'll reset, and then you can see it again in real time. Over here on the right we have a capacity setting so it'll tell us the capacity of our battery now right here there are some protections and if you have one of those light up it'll illuminate in this area right here this is really nice this gives you the ability to check anything on the battery with in real time without the use or need of having a multimeter so you can again you can check the current the voltage the temperature and the capacity of the battery I think that's just fantastic and it's one of my favorite features about this battery. Some of the uses that a battery like this would be ideal for would be marine type uses. So if you're on a boat or a yacht and you want to have some power storage, this would be a good battery for that. You can also put it in your boat and power a trolling motor. It would work real good for that. 
and if you are into solar you could use this battery to store your solar energy so in the event that you might have maybe an off-grid situation whether it's an RV maybe you have a travel trailer or maybe you have just a van or something and you want an off-grid power situation you could have your solar panel feeding this battery through your charge controller and you could have a small off-grid system another thing that this would be good for is to take camping to charge up all your gadgets you could easily connect a power inverter of whatever power you want to this battery and and, and run devices and it would be really nice if you're a ham radio operator you could take this with you it's very light it's not that heavy and you could use it for all your communication needs and what I might be using this one for is to run a diesel heater it's nice because it has that display that lets me see in real time the capacity that I have left in this battery so those are just some of the applications that you could use a battery like this for now this battery is made up of grade A blade pouch cells this battery is IPX5 now you can wire this in 4S or 4P so 4S meaning you have four batteries wired in a series you would get 51.2 volts at 100 amp hour of capacity and that would give you a total of 5.12 kilowatt hours of performance out of this battery now if you wire it in 4P which is parallel you could go up to four batteries then you would keep the voltage at 12.8 but you would increase your amp hour rating up to 400 amp hour and again the kilowatt hour would be the exact same you'd be at 5.12 kilowatt hours so I think that is just fantastic again 12.8 volts 100 amp of capacity 1280 is the watt hour so that's basically how big the gas tank is how long this will run so if you have a device that you're going to be running say it's 200 watts then you could divide that 200 into the 1280 and that's how you would determine the amount of hours that you your 200 watt device would run again it's really nice because you have that screen that is telling you the status of your battery capacity the, now this battery does have a built-in BMS and it will handle 100 amps this battery is about a third the weight of a standard lead acid battery and it's about two-thirds smaller those things are big now this battery has the ability to take the depth of discharge all the way down to zero so this has 100 percent depth of discharge now I must warn you if you're gonna be drawing it down that much you're gonna get less cycles out of this battery so if you're only drawing it down maybe halfway or something you could get the most amount of cycles possible out of this battery now there are several protection systems that this battery has that has overcharge protection it has discharge protection it's got management terminal protection battery cell balancing on it and it also has the ability to transfer data via data transmission I think that is fantastic the dimensions of the battery it is 8.4 inches tall 13.1 inches wide and 7.28 inches deep if we want to look at that in millimeters it is 215 millimeters tall 335 millimeters wide and it's 185 millimeters deep this battery weighs 24 pounds or 11 kilograms now I do have to warn you this is not a starting battery and it's also not a battery for golf carts this battery can charge between 32 degrees all the way up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit so in the event that you get below freezing don't try to charge this battery you can actually damage it now if you're going to be charging this battery there are three basic ways that you can charge it the first way is charging it via a generator the second way would be a wall outlet you know you could use a lithium iron phosphate charger and if the generator and the wall outlet charge at 20 amps you would charge this battery in about five hours now if you're going to be charging it the third way which is solar if you got at least 400 watts you could charge this battery all the way up in one day
Now this is the newer optimized version of their battery. They did have a previous version and this is the newer one. It's priced a little higher than the previous one. This one comes in at $329. And the reason the price went up is because they replaced the internal protective foam with high density EVA foam to reinforce the interior of the battery. They also replaced it with a BMS system that has Bluetooth function and it connects to the LCD screen via protocol. Battery data can be read more accurately from the LCD screen as you saw previously. And you can monitor this battery power in real time by scanning this QR code and downloading the mobile app. Again, those QR codes are right here. Now they do offer a very exclusive discount code of Jujitsu 12V. So instead of the $329 being your price, you can pick this battery up for $269. That saves you $60, but I gotta tell you that coupon code is only valid for two months. And you got to use the link in the description box down below for the coupon code of Jujitsu 12 v to work. So keep that in mind. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and test this battery by connecting a few things. I have a 2000 watt power inverter here. I'm gonna turn it on. And you can see that that turns on. I got a couple power tool batteries and I have a six quart pressure cooker. So I'm gonna start with the pressure cooker. Let's get that bad boy in, just like that. We'll go ahead and start this thing with the amount of time we want. Uh, let's do it for 15 minutes, push start. And now that will come up to pressure and I also need to charge a couple batteries. So we got two batteries charging and we have a pressure cooker coming up to pressure. The inverter says that I'm drawing 850 watts but let's look at the screen here it resets and it says I'm pulling 77.3 amps let me give you a closer look at that screen there so right now I'm pulling over a hundred amps 104.2 113 114 amps which is very good because the BMS is a hundred amp BMS and as you can see in real time the battery is coming down it's at 49 percent I, I just love that it has these numbers in real time and if I look at the power inverter over here it says I'm pulling 1249 watts so the battery is absolutely doing everything that it needs to do passing this test so far with flying colors and this is a pretty heavy test you know, I'm running a pressure cooker and two batteries are charging. I'm going to go ahead and let this go and we'll take a look in a few minutes. I'll tell you what folks, I'm really impressed with this little monitor here on the side of the battery. That is so nice because I don't have to have a multimeter. I don't have to have anything with me because it's right there in plain sight. We can see the capacity of our battery here on the right and all the data, the important data that we need right here on the left. And we're pulling 115 amps. That is absolutely fantastic. Now the power inverter that we're using today for this test is the Ampeak 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. And it also has a screen on the side of it and I'm trying to get the glare out of there but you can see all the numbers and data there as well so very very cool two power tool batteries charging and a six quart pressure cooker all being ran off of this battery and I love that monitor that is very nice now the power inverter has kicked on the fans. I am drawing 1334 watts according to the power inverter. And just there a second ago you saw the current draw was 118 amps. That is a lot of power to discharge from a battery. And it's doing it no problems. I'm not having any issues everything is working fine so the battery here is red green so it's almost done uh, the fan keeps kicking on and off 
and the pressure cooker has just come up to pressure and the battery is down to 32 percent capacity and as we can see we have one battery is finished and the other one is still charging and the pressure cooker went down two minutes so it's been cooking and everything is working good okay now we can see both batteries are fully charged the pressure cooker has ran its cycle and now we're taking a look at the battery and as you can see we have discharged all the way down to 23 percent this battery is impressive and now you can see we have a draw of 2.2 amps this is currently running a diesel heater and I've got plenty of heat this is the use that I think that this battery would be perfect for this is a diesel heater installed in a tiny house so the cool thing about this is I can look in real time and see how much battery life I have left so therefore I'll know how long I can run this diesel heater on this battery until I need to charge it again and that's just absolutely fantastic having that information okay I have this 25 watt solar panel connected to the battery here and looking down at the screen hopefully hopefully you can see that I'm bringing in 1.3 amps 1.4 and the battery's charging it's currently at 21 percent and here we are a couple hours later let's take a look and see what we have we are at 24 percent and it's currently bringing in 0.9 of an amp not too bad for a 25 watt panel and here you can see I'm charging the battery with a charger lithium iron phosphate charger that plugs into the wall we're bringing in 5.5 amps 13.1 volts is the battery and 28 and a half degrees is the battery temperature and as you can see we are climbing we are currently at 25 percent and here we are still charging away slowly climbing 5.5 amps of input that's not bad so I like on this monitor where the current tells you what the amperage going out is or what the amperage coming in is that's fantastic well folks my final thoughts on this 100 amp lithium iron phosphate battery by go kilowatt hour I love this battery I think this battery is fantastic it is a performer I want to say thank you to go kilowatt for sending this battery out for review if you guys are interested in the battery I will put a link in the description box down below and remember to use the coupon code of jujitsu 12 V at your checkout and you will receive a $60 off on the price of the battery so instead of 329 you can pick it up for 269 now again at the time that this video drops that coupon code is only good for two months so I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching please feel free to leave your comments down below like this video share this video and until next time folks thanks again for watching I hope you guys have a beautiful day we'll see you on the next one Bye for now, everybody.